part of a major project in collaboration with the city of Gilroy called Safe Routes to Schools. And it's a great project, a great partnership, but the idea is to create safe routes for students to go from their home to school and back. The idea behind the initiative is to um, bring awareness to how to arrive at school and the idea of the walking and biking and safety. Our students come from varying backgrounds and so that's very unique to us too. We have every type of range at this school and so the kids are fortunate to be able to have students from different levels of everything. My name is Mirka Vanda. I, I am eight years old and I, I am in third grade and I, I go to Antonio de Bona Elementary School. I like about living in Gilroy, it's close to the school and it's much easier than like going all the way on a car and just sitting and being poor. The message that we have put out there is about safety and how to get to school and the variety of ways they can get to school. And with the understanding that we're hoping more students are going to be hopefully doing more walking school bus, which means that they're walking in groups to school or when they're riding their bikes, the safety behind that and how to get to school and preferably to come with partners or in groups and not alone. What I usually tell my students about bike safety when they're, when they're riding their bikes to school or anywhere is to make sure that they wear their helmets. That's like the number one rule I tell them. And not only is it safe, safer for them, it's also the law. And I tell them, you know, they are breaking the, the rules. They are breaking the law if, they don't, if they're not wearing their helmets. So we have the law enforcement that has supported with doing uh, more school patrolling. They also helped us with at a day where they actually were present, where they were able, the students were able to bring their bikes and we have little mini stations going on and so they, they were a big support in, in organizing that event as well. We also have the education piece which is what I'm more responsible for and doing the assemblies and doing the brochure aware awareness through the information that goes home and the newsletters and then we have the piece, the big piece that uh, was, in, was putting in the trail. So the Lions Creek Trail was a part of this grant. What's great about the Lions Creek Trail and other trails that already exist that the city has already um, put into you know, effect is that children can take these trails instead of being on city streets and have a very safe route to school. It really is an outstanding asset for the community. Uh, represents uh, a commitment on the part of, uh, again, our partner agencies and the staff of the city of Gilroy. Eventually there will be 13 miles of these trails which will provide m many, many children a safe route to school. A mí me gusta Gilroy porque es un pueblo calmado, tranquilo. A mis hijos vienen a la escuela caminando, yo los traigo por la farra y cruzo la calle donde está la Yardori y llegamos a clase, a la escuela. The way I, I come to school is I walk to school with my sister Cristina and we cross the street with the, with the safety guard. It's really important to stay in between the lines. Like Lee's going to do, walk his boy. The conversation that we had with the students has been to have parents involved somewhat the, especially the younger the children. My son's 13 at Solar Sano Middle School this year and it was a big decision a couple years ago to let him ride or walk to school because you know he had to cross Santa Teresa, major thoroughfare. I think that's a really important decision for the parent. They have to make it on their own but what I would encourage them to do is what I did. I went out and biked or walked the route myself with my son a few times to make sure he knew how to do it safely. Well, as a parent, you know, you want it, your kids to be safe, and certainly to go in numbers is important. But for sure, when you're going to school, go to school. 
and go directly there and don't dawdle off somewhere else on your way. As we got older, my mom would walk us to the corner and then she'd stand there and watch us and my brothers and I would walk the rest of the way to school. If that were the case with my kids, that's what I would do. I know that I get to school safely because my mom is aside of me and also the safety patrol is there and like she or he lifts up the sign and, and the cars like stop and then we can cross. Today we had a fantastic event. We had Bike Walk to School Day. We called it Hike It, Bike It to School Day. And the students that were able to ride their bikes, scooters or skateboards, came on those today or they walked to school. It has gotten the kids very excited and it teaches them um, you know, great ways to stay healthy and be active. I like about walking to school is that like your legs get exercise and like you get Exercise. When we're talking to the kids about what things that go on with uh, being safe and such, it doesn't always get back to the parents. Certainly we, we do days where they're ride to walk or ride to school day, so it creates um, interest for the parents so they can find out more about what's going on. There's also, when they come to school, we, we'll, we reward them for wearing a helmet, things like that making sure their students know how and what is the best way to get to school depending on how they're getting there. Ideally we want all the students having more students doing the walking school buses and how that works instead of having so many families driving to school. <laughs>